Sri Gurubhyo Namaha. Welcome to our online teaching academy Ekalaiva and I welcome you all for the biology class. This is class 12 biology. In last class I gave you a guess, right? You would have guessed by this time it is nothing but a fingerprint and the other side you can see something, okay, it is running all over like a band. So what is that band? And one more thing I told you, this print is not same, okay, each individual have their own uniqueness and it is different. Like that something is different in our system also that is inside the gene, okay, it is not same, 99.9% .9 our gene are same, okay, I mean the DNA same, only 0.1% there is a difference and that difference will say our uniqueness and that is very important to find, okay, the suspect in the crime scene, that also we are going to see. So, Mr. Alex Jeffrey, he helped us to figure out that there is some difference, 0.1 percentage difference in our DNA, okay, and it is in the year 1985. 1985, one mark question. This DNA fingerprinting, otherwise called as DNA profiling, okay, we can use the term profiling also. So, what is DNA fingerprinting? It is a method used to identify the living things based on the samples of their DNA. There are many methods to do, we are going to see that also. Instead of looking at the whole sequence, the whole sequence of the DNA, you cannot, you need not take the whole sequence of the DNA. We are going to take only the important which is different, okay. We are not going to take 99.9 .9 percentage, we are going to take that 0.1 percentage, how it is, that also we are going to see. So, these techniques look at the presence or absence of common marker. So, what is that marker? That marker is nothing but some repetition unit is there in our system, in each and every individual and it is different, it is not same, okay, that we are going to see. So, this is what is DNA fingerprinting and we will see our DNA, if you take the DNA, what are the two groups of DNA? One is the bulk DNA, another one will be the satellite DNA, we will see that. So, DNA, if you take it, there are two, you can divide like this. I told you already 99.9 .9 it it is similar and 0.1 percentage, it is not similar and this is coding and this is non-coding. We call this as bulk DNA. And this is SAT DNA, okay, it is nothing but satellite DNA. And this SAT DNA again categorized into two, that is mini satellite and then micro satellite. Mini and micro, okay, mini satellite around some 10 to 60 base pair will be there. And here 1 to 8 or 9 in some textbook it will be 9 in some textbook it will be 8. So, we will say like this in one between 1 to 8 or 9 base pairs will be there, okay. Mostly we are going to take this micro satellite and this is nothing but short tandem repeat, okay. And here we are going to talk about VNTR, variable number tandem repeat, okay. And based on that what is the tandem repeat that we are going to see? So, in a chromosome, okay, the base pair we are saying A, T, A, T like this. Suppose how many times it is repeating here? Three times, one, two, three, okay, like this the repetition we are going to see how many times it is going to repeat. So, that you call it as tandem repeat, variable number tandem repeat depending upon the length, how long it is, how many times it is repeating, short tandem repeat also the same thing, the number, how many times it is going to repeat, okay. So, you can copy this one, we are going to see the steps, the steps in the profiling, okay, what are the various steps, if, uh, if you want to do any research work or if you want to find anything, we need a procedure, there is a protocol for everything. So, like that we need to go in a stepwise. First thing what we have to do, we are doing DNA profiling. So, what we have to do, we have to isolate the DNA. 
from where we have to isolate the DNA? I told you already it is to uh, check the suspect, who is the suspect, right? So, might be in the blood sample or any other thing, okay? There is saliva, many things will be there in that the blood cells, WBC cells will take it. In that only nucleus is there, from that only we will take the DNA. So, first we have to isolate the DNA. Isolation of the DNA has the procedure. So, take the blood sample and then move to the various level. First, you are using a chilled ethanol like that, okay, and then you will get it, okay, you will get the DNA like a spooling technique, you can take it and then, so elution or modification of the DNA, then you go for this PCR, okay, what is PCR? Polymerized chain reaction, because we take a DNA, that DNA already we are get only a sample, okay, a blood sample might, might be a drop like that only you will get. From that you will take only a little amount of DNA. We need more. Suppose when you are doing, if there is a mistake, okay, you cannot go and get back it. So what we have to do, we have to increase the number. So that for that purpose we are doing PCR. All these you would have read in biotech lesson. PCR is nothing but polymerized chain reaction. And here you are going to amplify the DNA. What is amplifying? You are going to increase it. You are going to produce more amount of DNA. Okay, first isolate it. Okay, with the various step. Okay, get the sample, isolate, modify. In this also they are doing many uh, process like uh, getting the purity of the sample. Okay, there will be many process. They will be using the different temperature, optimum temperature and then they will come to the increased temperature or reduced temperature. They will filter it, they will get the correct sample, exact sample of the DNA and then it will be undergoing PCR. What is PCR? Polymerized chain reaction, amplifying the DNA. Next step, after this we need to cut into segments, okay, with the help of restriction enzymes, okay, which is acting as a molecular scissor. You can see, it's just an exaggerated one, it won't be like a scissor, it is just an enzyme. When you drop the enzyme into that solution, it cleaves in that particular position like this. Okay, so after this restriction enzyme, we are taking this to the next level. So first what we are doing, we are isolating. Okay, after isolating, we are amplifying. And after amplifying, what we are, we are cleaving by restriction enzyme. And then we are going to run the sample in a plate, gel plate. And that gel plate, you call it as agarose gel plate. Okay, agar. So this is the thing. Okay, here you will be having wells, okay, it is just a plate, gel plate like this, okay, in the plate there will be small wells, in the well you can see the pipette, the pipette looks very big but it is very small, a micro, only in the micro amount you will get that sample, so each sample they will fit into this and this they will allow it to run, okay, you can see here, after they complete that procedure it will take some hours. Okay, and it runs like this. Okay, as it runs, the band variation you can see. Okay, longer band, shorter band, like that with the band variation, they takes the place. Okay, the fragments. So next to gel electrophoresis, we are going to see sudden blotting. So in the gel plate, the gel plate is not stable, so we cannot see the bands. So what we are going to do, we are going to keep the nitrocellulose paper so that it can be absorbed and we can read the bands after passing the rays, x-ray. So how it is, uh, you can observe that later, just observe here. Suppose if this is the gel plate, in the gel plate, okay, the bands are there and the plate is not stable. Now what we are going to take, we are going to take the nitrocellulose sheet, okay, and we will keep over that. After that, we will press it. Then after some time, if you remove it, you can see the bands here, okay, in the nitrocellulose plate. This method is called sudden blotting, okay. So in this gel plate, okay, what we are doing, we are keeping the DNA, okay. So this is sudden blotting. Instead of DNA, suppose RNA, if it is there, RNA band, that you call it as northern blotting. The same thing in this gel plate. Instead of DNA and RNA, if the protein is present, that you call it as western blotting. So, three types of blotting, very important one mark question, let me write once here. So, DNA, the process will be the same, okay, only the fragments are different. 
this is sudden blotting okay instead of that if you are going to read the rna then it is called as northern blotting then instead of that if you are going to read the protein that you call it as western blotting okay you will observe this once you can see the alkaline solution okay sponge over that the plate agarose gel plate and then over that you are keeping the nitrocellulose paper then you will keep the paper towel okay just a weight okay so that it will be compressed and the bands get absorbed there then next what we are going to do we are going to read with the probe radio labeled probe okay what is radio labeled probe that let me say here here it is radio labeled probe so from here i'll just say from the beginning restriction digest enzyme electrophoresis technique okay then transfer over then radio labeled for example let me write here yeah okay this one i'm going to write in there that side okay so listen yes so if there is a plate okay the plate gel plate is there okay and then the probe radio labeled probe we are going to introduce this radio labeled probe is nothing but single strand dna and this dna will be having a radio labeled thing okay radio labeled thing means already it is a programmed one might be a t c g like that anything and we are having our probe okay we are having our probe it may be a uh, t a g c like this so now what happen when you transfer this this one okay will complement a t c g actually this radio labeled probe will complement over the probe here okay and like this it will be complemented over those things right so for that purpose only we are doing this one so you can see here radio labeled probe and then our probe and you can see there is a complementary they become hybrid there okay then that will be read by the x ray film uh, ethidium bromide okay ethidium bromide uv rays that is for the other one okay gel electrophoresis there in biotech you will learn here you will be learning only about uv rays okay so don't confuse between uv rays sorry x ray here you will be learning about x ray there you will be learning about uv rays so don't confuse about both the thing uv rays in the biotech gel electrophoresis and here we are going to learn about x ray okay after the x ray you can see the size variation etc so this is the technique in our textbook there is one more picture uh, this is a overall view okay just observe for a second overall view how we are doing the process then i'll show you the textbook image now uh, this is our textbook image this textbook image you can see the tandem repeat okay you can see here 1 2 3 how many times it is repeating and they are given the chromosomes also chromosome number 7 2 16 here also the same thing okay this is a individual b individual and then c suspect okay suppose in the crime scene okay if there is a burglary or uh, some paternal dispute okay in that case what they are going to do they are going to match with the blood sample okay the suspect blood sample and then uh, victims okay our uh, victims or the other one we can say a or the b like that so here they have two persons a person and then b person blood sample with the tandem repeat and if you see here this is the blood sample what we got okay what we got in the prime crime scene and here suspect a suspect b now if you see the match here which is exactly match with the a uh, blood sample which you got in the crime scene b b part you can see the exact match okay so he is the person okay he is the thief or whoever 
The same thing paternal dispute if you take it. Paternal dispute, uh, for example, the person soldier or someone, okay, a blood sample if they got. So, this is the person's blood sample or the child blood sample and the parent blood samples, okay. Parent, two parents, let me take A, B, A, B. So, parent 1, parent 2, okay, two parents. Why A, B? A, B is nothing but male and then female. So, A, male and then this is female, this is male, female. So, this person or the child will share both of their DNA, okay. So, I let me draw the band, try to identify who will be this, okay. I am not writing the number, just I am drawing with the pattern you just identify. Okay, let me draw here. Okay, so this child belongs to the parent 1 or 2. Okay, it is very much clear the child is sharing both their DNA. So, this exactly okay, looks same, similar, right. So, there are two cases, okay, one is the crime case, another one is the paternal dispute, it can be solved like this, okay. So, this is overall about the DNA fingerprinting, just observe this once again, we are taking the blood sample and then isolating and then next what happened, we are doing the uh, cleaving process, then gel electrophoresis, then afterwards you are doing the nitrocellulase, reading that, then radio labeled, okay. To receive our online lessons, please press the subscribe button and you receive our latest updates. Thank you.